Just a related question, moving to uh, the third question, which I have, uh, Sister Shivani, for you. What happens is there were very many elderly people who were very busy, who were really working very hard. They may be doctors, industrialists, entrepreneurs, scientists, uh, 70 plus, 75 plus. And suddenly, because of the pandemic, since last one year, more or less, they are confined to the house. You know, they have not been able to go out because their children are telling them not to go there inner calling is also there not to go and they are a little apprehensive and sitting at home has taken a toll uh, you know to a large extent on their mental health mental emotions so how can we sister shivani you know especially for the elderly population you know uh, help them to you know kind of deal with this suddenly sitting at home and you know when they were in the hospital or in the office or in the industry or in the lab they yeah, have too. time to eat food, but now they're at home and that's taking a toll. So any words of uh, advice, uh, Sister Shibani, for this subset of uh, people? Simple is first, have a very clear cut lifestyle routine. What happened when we were going to work every day? We had a fixed routine. We need to continue having a fixed routine even when we are at home. When a person stops having a routine, na, that's when the mind and the body starts going, okay, now, why do I need to wake up early? I don't have to go anywhere. Why do I need to get ready early? You know, what is the need for me to get ready early? I don't have to go anywhere. So this whole thing that I have nothing to look forward to during the day, I don't have to go anywhere, tells me that I don't need to have a routine. But that's not right. For the mind and the body, Sanyam and Niyam, which means a lifestyle of discipline. So wake up at the same time that you used to wake up. Sleep early at the same time that you used to wake up. Now when you wake up in the morning, you have a little extra time. So you work on that little meditation, that spiritual study and your physical health also in case you were not doing that before. So give yourself a good one hour during the morning for yourself. Second, even by being at home, because of all the technology that we have now and because of the ways that we are getting connected with each other, continue to be a part of your work. You know, don't think that just because you're not going now, you're not a part of your work. Because if you start feeling that you're not a part of your work, within another six months or one year, you will start feeling you're not wanted. You know, you're not needed. Because what happens, a system gets used to working without you. Nothing stops for us. Today we go there, we are completely involved in the system. If we don't go for one year, the system will adapt without us. And then if we suddenly go, we might not be, you know, and everything is got happening on its own. So continue to be a part of that system online. Right. Be a part of meetings, sit there in every meeting, have your suggestions exactly how you would do in the conference room. Get, get used to that digital platforms. You will be able to do most of your work online. And it's very, very important for us to do that. Then you have your fixed eating habits. Do everything you were doing that you were doing when you were going there. It may be little lesser than that, but it's not completely over. That's for sure. We should continue doing everything digitally. You can also have a daily routine of certain hobbies which you were not able to do earlier. Right. You were not. Now engage in them. Keep your one hour for this. Keep your little one hour for this. But have a schedule. Any person who stops having a schedule, it's only then when things start getting affected. If I have a schedule and if I'm in, and a very important thing that you can start doing is seva. Seva. Seva is very important. And seva can happen even from home because right now we are not going to go outside anywhere. Get involved with NGOs. Contribute your wisdom, your wisdom and experience of all the years only you have and nobody else in society has that. So give it to NGOs, give it to organizations, give it as a consultant, just as seva. You don't want anything in return. It's purely seva. Seva is going to give you a completely different energy here. Different energy. Talk to everybody who's not well. Make it a call to call up, make it a point to call up everyone who's in quarantine and talk to them at least for five minutes with a lot of positive energy. You will get energized after that. It's only a question of a few months, but these few months spent the right way will only bring us out stronger out of this. Mm -hmm.